Hi, my name is Catherine Lane, and I am an engineer here at AGI. And today I'm here to talk to you about deck access and the capability within SDK. So what we have here is a scenario with a observatory here on uh, the island of Maui in Hawaii. And we have a facility that is doing some observation of the night sky. And what we want to find out is how many satellites are going to f fly through this field of view for our sensor over specified amount of time. So if you think about access as being the point-to-point -point intervisibility within STK, deck access is one on many intervisibility within STK. So in order to calculate deck access, I'm going to right click on my sensor object and bring up our deck access tool. This tool will allow us to determine what object am I doing the deck access for. In this case, I'm doing it for the sensor here on Maui and the time period that I'm going to do this analysis for. So I'm going to just do this for a short time period for one hour to see what my initial results are going to be. And then the next thing that we're going to figure out is what are the different objects that I want to do that inner visibility to. So I could be looking at a number of satellites, facilities, targets, stars. In this situation, I'm going to look at what satellites are going to fly through my field of view. So I'm going to choose satellites. And then I'm going to choose our deck access file, the file that has all of the positional information for these satellites. In this situation, I'm using a two-line element. And you should watch our tech tip on two-line elements if you are not familiar with this particular topic to learn more about these. But I'm going to use all of the two-line elements available to me right now. And then it's going to ask us about the output that we want to have here. So I'm going to sort my um, report by start time. So when are the first time of that an object is going to come into my field of view? And then I want to create the report as opposed to save this information off to a file. I also have an advanced option that I will use here today and say that I want to add the satellites to my scenario that show up in my report. So I can specify the maximum number of satellites that we are going to bring in here. I'm going to start off with 50. So once you have your, your DEX access calculation uh, set up, all we need to do is click Compute Accesses. It's going to ask me if I'm sure that I want to bring the satellites into my scenario. I know that this is what I would like to do. So I will say yes, and SDK will go about calculating this. So over this time period, it's going to look at all of the different satellites that are in this catalog, this catalog of thousands of satellites, and look at when they're going to come into the field of view for the one hour time period that I have. You can see my object browser start, start to populate with all of those different objects. And then shortly here, a report will show up showing us all of the different satellites that are available. So the default report shows us the name, which is the SSC number, the satellite catalog number for that satellite. Again, that start time, stop time, and overall duration for how long that satellite is within our field of view. Now, these names are, and uh, the SSC numbers are not necessarily the most intuitive way to know which satellite is available. So I can open up the report and graph manager for our, or for our sensor and then create one of our other reports, the deck access common name report, and generate this report. And this will show us also the SSC number as well as the common name for those satellites. So I can see that the first uh, satellites that are within our field of view are the uh, a number of pieces of debris. We can see other satellites later on um, with longer durations that come into our field of view. And if I look in my 3D window, I can see all of the different orbit tracks for the satellites that come through our field of view. And I can animate and watch those different sat satellites come through my sensor field of view. So this is just a short example of how you can use deck access to calculate intervisibility from one object to a large number of objects in a short amount of time using SDK.